Hey guys, welcome back to the Real Green Lawn. So, 68 degrees outside, sun is shining, so it's a good time to kick off the 2021 lawn season. So let's see how low low is all four tires are set at one all right so what i'm gonna do is just try to feel where this blade is making contact with the grass so it's about right so i'm just resting the tip of my finger on the top of the soil there it is so it hits about middle knuckle of my index finger and so the middle knuckle of my index finger is about three quarters of an inch all right just finished up the first cut of the season feels good to get back out on the lawn so three quarters of an inch with the uh, Honda rotary and it did pretty good got a few swirl marks which my lawn's not very level so it's gonna happen whenever you're cutting with one of those um, bagged all the clippings got those pulled up off the lawn got it all cleaned up trimmed up on the sides everything's looking real pretty now it's pretty old ryegrass it's actually been fun um, I do want to try to maintain it like I said in previous videos maintain it underneath these shade um, shaded areas of my lawn throughout the summer those of you that mow in Texas in July and August you know how hot it gets down here and you know how much of a challenge that's gonna be but that's gonna be my goal for the summer is just to see if I can maintain that area also I'm gonna hold off scalping my lawn it's March 4th now um, usually I've already got one scalp in um, around this time but I'm gonna hold off for a little while longer because we had that big winter storm and my Bermuda is still very dormant um, as you can see over that area by the house and so I just don't want to cut it quite that low just yet and also I don't really want to smoke out this uh, perennial just or this ryegrass just yet because it's really pretty and so I wouldn't mind I'm gonna see how long this will maintain before um, the summer sun starts burning this stuff off. And then also, I'll allow the sun to draw my line of where I need to maintain that perennial ryegrass um, for the future and where I need to extend, you know, make, make a little barrier of where the Bermuda can, can go up to and, and where it likes to be happy. So I'm gonna let the heat decide where that line is for me and we're just gonna keep mowing it and enjoy this this luscious looking grass and so anyway thank you guys for stopping by and remember your lawn's only as good as your last moment